you and Linda, how, how did you get guys get involved with viral vignettes? Well, Donnie Most has been a friend since I was 16, I think, or 17. And mm. he's just been one of those friends we met and that was it, just stuck like glue. He's been a lifelong friend and, and really made a you know dynamic difference in my life. Donnie and David have been friends for a long time and they were doing this. And so uh, anyway, Donnie, very kindly reached out and um, I was so glad of it because I had been living in New York, was actually doing a play when the pandemic hit and um, left New York shortly after. I mean, like within two days of everything closing. I remember. Yeah, right. Thank it you. was a crazy time. We were all stuck. And about two days after uh, after this whole thing started kicking in, I said, well, people are doing talk shows from there bedrooms and concerts from their living rooms and stand-up comedy from their bathrooms and uh -huh. but, no, but nobody's doing anything scripted the scripted stuff that was happening and the comedy stuff that was happening was so political and so much about covid and i wanted to do something that wasn't about covid but was about the people who were living through covid and so got together with some writers called don who i'm friends with he called a few people i called fred and and people were just really good about um saying yeah first of all they were all bored they were stuck at home <laughs> the plans were all done don called linda and said what are you doing and linda was like uh I'll take this over that was yeah but just to be able to be to do it on zoom was kind of it had challenges and um to feel in some way connected to your community was really was really fun we we leaned into what the limitations were, mm -hmm. and and I wanted to do I wanted to do something that wasn't just Saturday Night Live sketches. We wanted to do little one act plays. Mm -hmm.